Hi my beautiful Capricorns, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your mid-September reading. We're going to see what the energy is for you in love. As always, let me know in the comments what you're trying to manifest in love. Be positive, be specific. So that energy comes back to you. The universe is always listening. All right, a card is already dropping out here. So Capricorn, what? Let's see, what is the energy for Capricorn mid-September? Please share it with Capricorn what they need to know in love. Repeating threes. All right, look at that. See your energy here. Woman holding a coin. I don't read male or female, it's about the energy, but you have garden and the gate, and you have the strategy card. You know, I'm gonna say here, I feel like there is somebody who is thinking about you strongly here with the thinking person. You have strategy here. You got two threes. Threes for me are about communication. They're also about the birth of something new. You got the garden and the gate. I feel like something new is about to happen here. Okay, so it does feel like there's somebody thinking about you. I don't know who this is yet, but somebody's strategizing. Somebody's strategizing uh, something here, I feel, about what they're thinking about. And now what's interesting is you have the healer of ages. Okay, so this is the solar plexus chakra, this yellow energy. You know what I'm really strongly getting? We tend to hold our feelings and emotions in our solar plexus chakra. And I see the fire here too. I feel like there's somebody, and I'm not sure who this is yet, but somebody is holding back how much chemistry they feel with you or how they feel about you. This person is doing a lot of thinking about you. And like I said, here you are. Okay, but it can also tell me that something's going to be offered here. So let's uh, pull your tarot, see what else comes through. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Capricorn for mid-September in love? What is she? What is she? What is she? What, is, what does Capricorn need to know? I don't know where that came from. Okay. Let's start here. Okay. It's got the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's thinking about you right? Somebody's thinking about stability and something long lasting with you. you. Got the five of cups and the world. I feel like there's somebody that you're closing out a chapter with because I see disappointment. Now it can also tell me that there is somebody that you are closing out a chapter with or a cycle that disappointed you because it's like they couldn't take the step towards the next level whatever that is for you that could be commitment it could be almost it could be exclusivity commitment or marriage see i see disappointment here whoever's thinking about you I feel like they disappointed you. Now, you do have a new chapter here. You have the world. Bottom of the deck here, you also have here the star card. Eight of Pentacles. And you also have the seven of Pentacles. And you have, bottom of the deck here, you have the ace of Pentacles. Let me move this camera back just a bit. Okay. So... You know what I really feel here? I feel like there is someone that is thinking about you. But 
because it almost feels like somebody disappointed you because I feel what you wanted to work with this person or where things wanted to go I feel like it didn't happen it's almost like this person like things only went too or so far with this person so you have the star card here it could be an Aquarius I'm picking up Aquarius. I'm also picking up another Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have here, again, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. This person has regrets. Let's. I want to clarify the star card because this person I feel here is thinking about you. Tell me more about the star card. Hmm. This is somebody I feel blocked, suppressed how they feel about you. Remember I said here the healer of angels, somebody who has been holding in their feelings. You have the uh, Ten of Cups, the Page of Wands, and you also have here the Emperor. You're going to hear from this person. This person's been doing a lot of thinking about you. It could be an Aries. Ten of Cups. Okay, I feel like this person wants a reconciliation with you. Page of Wands. So this could be somebody who is realizing... That they created whatever happened between the two of you. I see this person to be having regrets. See, you have the Seven of Wands here and the Seven of Swords. You know what? What blocked this connection, I feel, from being long-lasting here. I feel like this person either avoided really communicating to you how they feel, or this could actually be somebody who was dishonest with you. And now they're having regrets. Yeah, here's a king of wands. Could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So it feels like they have regrets because there was some sort of action that they didn't take. Now you could be dealing with this person now or this is someone, like I said, you may be closing out a chapter here with this person. Maybe some of you are in the process of letting go of this connection. But tell me more about this five of cups. Oh my gosh, Five of Cups again. Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups. Four of Pentacles. I have to say with two Queens here and the Five of Cups. I almost feel like this is someone, for some of you, not all of you, because we do have this Page of Wands here. This is somebody who is acting too casual. I feel like there could be more than one person involved in this situation. Like I said, for those of you who resonate that this person was dishonest with you, I feel there was another person involved in this situation, and that's why this person could not move towards something long-lasting. That's why they held back. That's why they didn't give to this connection. See, that's why they were hesitant here with the Four of Cups, because there were other offers or other people involved in the situation. For others, I feel it's just an energy of this person regrets not taking action on their feelings for you because I do feel like this person has kept inside their feelings the Emperor does not share a whole lot tell me more about this eight of let actually I want to go to this world card tell me more about this world card because I feel something's changing here with this world card some sort of big change look at that I say big change and there it is, the wheel. <laughs> Two of Cups. Eight of Wands. Let's get another one. Three of Pentacles and the Magician. 
See, we got the seven and the eight of pentacles here. I feel this person's getting ready to do something because you do have the wheel of fortune and you have the two of cups. There's a very strong spiritual connection between the two of you. I feel that you and this person were brought together for a reason. Or you're being brought together. There's something too very healing about this connection. You do have the eight of wands and you have the three of pentacles. The big change is, is that you're going to hear from this person. This person's going to tell you that they want to work on this connection, this relationship. They have been thinking a lot about this. They regret. I'm sorry I'm repeating, but I just have to, you know, kind of summarize. They regret not taking action on how they feel about you. Here's the magician. This is someone getting ready to, to take action. You do have the knight of wands here and then the king of wands. They're, they're motivated. They're motivated to do something. Because this person does have feelings for you. And they do see you as the perfect partner. Why did this person hold back in the past? Why did this person hold back in the past? I have to ask that question. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah. See, this person's a thinker. You got the thinking person up there. Okay, so this is someone who gets caught up in their head. This is someone who was in a past relationship with somebody else. Okay, it could have even been a marriage. And whatever happened, this person felt very betrayed by this person. I, I feel too, there could have been finances involved. This person experienced a really traumatic, awful relationship and it and they could have uh, financially lost money too. And so that's what this person thinks about when it comes to commitment and long term. Tell me more about this uh, seven of pentacles. Tell me more about this seven of pentacles. Oh my gosh, look at that. Eight of swords popped out again. Tell me more about this seven of pentacles. Five of Swords. So it shows me this person, they think about you, they think about what's invested here. They know they need to reach out, they need to communicate with you. I do feel like there could have actually been some sort of argument or conflict in the past. Some of you, I do feel there could have been some sort of third party situation. And, and I'm going to say for some of you, not all of you, with that energy of why this person held back, I told you I felt that there was another past relationship this person was involved in. So there could be an ex involved in the situation as well for some of you. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. I just feel, Capricorn, like I feel like you, you feel that this person doesn't give enough. Like they haven't shown you or like I said, taken the action. Well, let's see what the potential is here. What's the potential here in this connection between Capricorn and this person? Because I feel like you're going to hear from this person and they're going to tell you they want to work on things. Hmm, look at that. Eight of Wands. To be perfectly honest here, Capricorn, this person is going to come back around. Okay. They're going to tell you they want to work on things. They're going to tell you um, that they want this to work. But they get trapped in their head about the past. 
they have some unresolved issues of their past. And I see here, right, they're going to come back around. They're going to want the opportunity with you. The Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands, they're going to tell you, well, let's see how things go, right? And then look, Four of Cups. They're still hesitant. They're still unsure. There's other things going on here. The Three of Cups. I feel like this could be somebody. Either they have other options or like I said, there's some sort of X situation or they're just always hesitant about taking the next step because after the Three of Wands is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands would be commitment, marriage, whatever the next step is for you. Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, Six of Cups. See, they're going to come back around. They're going to tell you they miss you. The Empress, they want a new beginning. They want things to be happy. But then they hold back. Lovers, Gemini energy, and the Hangman. I feel like this is someone that you may repeat a cycle with if you've had issues with this person. What else can you share with Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? And then we'll get some guidance. Yeah, there's judgment energy. <laughs> this is someone I feel, this may not resonate with everybody, but this person may show appreciation or their love language is giving gifts. So you could get a gift from this person but, you know, because they lacked giving in the past. So when this person comes back around, they may try to give you a gift. You do have judication, which is judgment energy. They're coming back around to rekindle this connection. You got pathway. They want the door to be open with you. You've got wealthy person. See, I do feel like this could also be somebody who is more about their money. Money may be important to this person or maybe they are wealthy. And then you also have here the lovers again. See, there's a very strong uh, chemistry between you and this person. I do feel like this person has feelings for you, but I feel they're just very held back and just fully committing. And that's why I feel here, you know, something long lasting. I feel it's like you're waiting for this person to take the next step, but then they never take the next step. See, again, in limbo is the energy I get there. So, and this could be, you know, some of you, you know, maybe this is, some of you could even be not the first time this has happened with this person, but others I feel they're going to tell you they miss you and they want a new beginning. What's the guidance here? Okay, for Capricorn. Huh. Take time to yourself because there's a decision here. It's a crossroads energy. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. All that glitters is not gold. So this may be somebody that you saw yourself for the long term, but it's somebody who's disappointed you because this person, you know, there's a mask there. This person has really hidden how they feel inside about you. And the here and now, this is about you making a decision in the current moment to take a new path for your happiness. And look here, you have clean it up. The energy is stagnant. Okay, but it also can say that maybe it's time for something new. If this is somebody that you keep seeing the same thing happen with this person. So I'm going to leave it at that, Capricorn. I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.